was infatuated with when I first saw her. Visually, I couldn't believe it. When I saw that first guy out there beyond the breakwater, beyond the, the white water, and then right away, I'm thinking like, that's the coolest thing I've ever seen. In the spotlight this morning, he's an East Coast legend and a culture icon. Water Brother is a featured documentary about Sid Abruzzi and his lifelong passion for surfing, skating, and protecting the sport's history and culture. Joining us this morning following its world premiere, yes, it's Sid himself, as well as one of the Canaan Brothers filmmakers, Chuck Canaan. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Thanks for having us. Good to see you. Thank you. Sid, so can we just start off with, uh, so the, the movie itself was shown at uh, Newport Film last year, Ford Adams. Right. You just about shut Newport down. Broke the internet. What was that like for you? <laughs> that was amazing. Um, there was closer to 5,000 people. Perfect weather. Um, Jerry Kirby got this screen that was phenomenal. Right. And uh, it was it was like what an event. People are still just talking about it. It's unreal, unreal. Chuck, you put this movie together. What has it been like the past couple of months since the movie's finally been sh mm -hmm. was shown to so many people and traveling around with this guy? Oh, it's been the best. Uh, yeah, my brothers and I have known Sid our whole lives. My dad brought us into the shop when we were little kids. Um, and it's been amazing. The screening in Fort Adams, we, it was, I told the boys, I'm like, you'll never have a more special screening of any movie we'll ever work on because you had a whole community come together for that night and really relive their lives with, with this man. So it's, it's been an honor for us to be a part of it. Well, it's been incredible. Chuck, I, I mean, I, I, Sid, is, people have, have jobs and passion throughout their life, and they try to make things happen. You have been doing this all your life. Correct. And, and had a great life with, with everything that you have done. What has this life been like for you? Um, well, I've been very blessed, fortunate um, to do something I love, you know, and uh, <clears throat> surrounded by family and friends who are supportive. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, starting with my parents, right to my wife. I mean, it's just, and then buddies like Chuck, I've known these guys since they were in diapers. Right. You know, I surfed with their dad. <laughs> and then I saw them get movie cameras. Right. And the whole time, we had Super 8 cameras. Sure. So we have actual five decades of film. That's amazing. It really is. So what is it like for you, since you did know these guys since they were little, when they come to you and say they want to make a documentary about you? What was the first reaction? Like, uh, don't worry about it, or yeah, bring it on. Oh, bring it on. <laughs> <laughs> he loves a spotlight. Yeah. <laughs> easy, bring easy. It on. <laughs> that was me at their back door. You know what I mean? <laughs> when are you guys finished with this movie? Right, when are we right. going to start Water Brother? No, no, it's something that... Um, I mean, you I'm gave us a so camera. I'm so blessed. Yeah, I gave him his first camera. Ah, he was prepping you. Yeah, <laughs> no, he was. Like, he and his first surfboard. Wow. Yeah. So I think yeah. if he didn't get the hint when he was 10 years old. And yeah. 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 No, it's been an amazing run. Um, the film, probably 10 to 12 years in conception, and then a solid five to seven years of, of work. Sure. Um, Chuck, the guys like Tony Hawk are in this movie too. Going to them yeah. and talking about what he means to them. Without without Sid, these guys may not have had the career that they had. What was that like? It was amazing. Uh, you know, Sid Sid gave me a camera when Tony Hawk came to Skater Island. This is 25 years ago, and said, "Hey, go go film Tony, follow him around." And so our first interview with Tony was 25 years ago at Skater Island. Right. And then uh, our producer Colin Moniz, Will, my brother Will, and Jeffrey Aziz set up this interview with Tony, so it was surreal that we got to, now that we were older and making this film, we got to interview him again and talk about those stories going back so many years, so it was incredible. And then when we had the little beach shack on the beach, yeah. we built a little mini ramp down there, and Tony Hawk was on the Bones Brigade tour, and he might have been 17 or 18 years old. Right. So we had Tony since 1989 in Newport. 
that it really is, it, it's amazing to see all of this video and how much you mean to so many people in the skater community, the surf community, and also just Newport in general. And the, the shop itself really launched so many career, so right. many people's career, and, and really me has meant so much to you over the years. I want to talk about the shop because the sh sure. there's a new shop that's kind of is open as well. Yeah, we, we, you know, we had no idea at the end of this movie. We thought it was over, it was done. Uh, a friend of ours who was actually Jerry Kirby, who, thank God for Jerry, he came in and uh, he purchased uh, the property right. right next to the shop where we had to leave or got thrown out, either one you want to look at it. <laughs> right, right, right. And uh, he built us another shop right there, surprised us. And, uh, you know, he said, listen, guys, consider this like a pop-up shop because you're going to be on the road with the film. Right. So let's travel with the film and have a story you can go back to because the seeing friends and family come into Water Brothers is something that I've done all my life. Right. So yeah. I, I, I'm not missing it. So we just have a little t a little time left. You want to talk about the uh, where people can see this movie because it's going to start opening all over the country. Yeah. So. Um we're releasing the film. It premiered in Newport uh, back on Friday. And then, uh, Sid, you have the dates, right? Yeah, we're, we're tonight and tomorrow night sold out. We have a couple matinee shows on Sunday. We're down in New York City, the 26th to the 1st at the Angelica Theater. Right. Um, we're in Nantucket. Uh, we're in Arlington, Mass, Thursday night, and you can go to waterbrotherfilm.com to get the full schedule. It's great. It really is. I mean, and it's so well done, and I'm so happy for you guys. Thank Sid, you. it's great. I'm so happy to see you, and thanks so, so much for coming I'm glad I'm in. back. I yeah. love the road show. I'm glad to have you here. It's great to see you, <laughs> and we wish you guys both the best of luck. Thank you can you. take a look at Water Brother Premier Times and learn more about the film. All you got to do is head on over to roadshow.com.